Meanwhile, tonight, the search intensifies for a missing 80-year-old man who has not been seen or heard from since early last week. Family members say Phil Stubbs suffers from dementia and diabetes and was last seen in the Carroll Beach area. Police officials took to the streets late Monday evening in hopes of furthering their investigations into the disappearance of this senior citizen. Our Jolanda Thompson Everest joins us live now from the scene. That's right, Azure. 80 year old Phil Subs was last seen in a red t shirt and blue jeans in the Carroll Beach area. Nine days later, and family and friends' concerns continue to grow while police officials take it to the streets in hopes of bringing 80 year old Phil Subs home. Police officials, including the K-9 unit and DEU members, combing through the International Bazaar, exploring the Princess Hotel, and also looking through the bushes. The team hoping to find any clues that can lead them to the latest missing man or anyone who was recently reported missing. But we know that this building has been abandoned for, or this property has been abandoned for a long time, but we also know that there is access to the property. And so we thought that we would come in here to, to see if those persons who have reported missing may have wandered into this property. It's a big property, a vast, vast amount of land, and so our team has split up into groups and we have searched every area of this property. ACP knows that she and her team have been searching for Stubbs since the announcement of his disappearance. She's also aware of residents' concerns regarding human trafficking, and she notes that it is important to have evidence before making that judgment. Over, over years, we, we know that there are a number of persons reported missing um, on, from Grand Bahama, and so it is our goal to search, continue to search to see if we can find Mr. Stubbs and the lady who was reported missing in late December. I say do not create fear in the community, and that is what social media is doing. It's given everyone an opportunity to voice their opinion, but they're creating fear. If you have information to suggest that there is some form of human trafficking, then you need to report the information to us. Just today, another flyer recently circulating a 58-year-old Richard Smith, who family members are also now reporting missing. Yeah, he's personally been he, he was missing early part of we got a report early part of the year, but he had been, he was missing oh, for this some is, six yeah, months prior before he, it was reported to the police, and so we we, we spoke about that again that uh, these people who family members have not seen for a while they are not concerned and, and for a very long time before they come forward and like he's saying it's just I think about more than six months before they actually reported him missing. He's also asking the family and friends of these missing residents to join joining on the search party within the relevant communities. Live from the International Bazaar for the Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition, I'm Jolanda Thompson-Everest.